So I just get off the phone with Mike and he says pretty much he doesn't really want to hang out with you over the espresso incident. Now, here's, here's what I'm saying, Chris, and, I, and I'm serious. Whether you're right or wrong, or whether you think you're right or wrong, or he does, it'd be better to just call him up, defuse the situation by saying, Mike, if you really wanted to make an espresso, just fucking, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, but I thought you were fucking with me. Yeah. So, I mean, what, what do you think? Um, I'm not going to call him. And I'll tell you why, because like you just said, nothing, nobody's right or wrong. In the heat of the moment, we were all joking around, and I thought he was doing that to, f to fuck with me. Because we were getting ready to go. Doing what? Like, you know, moving, pulling the stuff out of there and like, you know, putting it on the counter and starting to make an espresso. <laughs> If somebody's going to sit there and say, you know, I don't want to be your friend and I'm not going to hang out with you until you call me and apologize to me, I didn't need them for the long haul anyways. I'm not going to call. And if that goes for the next 30 years, then so be it. Oh, Mike, come on, please. Then you weren't my friend in the long haul anyway, and I don't fucking need you. So now he's not going to call me and he's going to forget all about the times I helped him. Not right now, please. What, what is he, fucking Frankie Valley? I mean, get the hell out of here. It's like, just fucking come over and sit down and relax. I mean, I, I don't do that to other people's houses. Mike and all the people from the Calabria and Amanda were here. And they made an espresso. Did I make an espresso or not? No. So, I let them make an espresso the first time they ever came over here. So what would be the difference any other time? I can't make an espresso. No, we're gonna leave. They might have felt a little un uncomfortable because of the neatness of the place. Why can't he make an espresso? You know, at least sit down and relax without critiquing every fucking thing. Make an espresso, please. People ask you, would you like something? And then you respond, yes I would. Now, you willingly both knew when you came over here I was going to take care of my errands and my, my little organizational things. I'm not even stressed, that's the thing. I'm not stressed and I'm not unhappy. Nothing's wrong. I just get overwhelmed and uh, I snap for, for no reason sometimes. Not the fucking bed! I just had Mike wanted to make an espresso. I, I don't mind making an espresso and having a good time. I'm trying to get this stuff put away so I can relax and entertain. You. And but you're fucking with me. I don't think I'm a bad guy. I mean, there's women getting beaten, raped, all these bad things in this world. There's women that cry themselves to sleep. If the worst thing about me is I'm a neat freak, I, I don't think that's a, a bad thing. Don't step on the fucking bed. And I know I'm overly neat and I need to relax. And I think I can. Mike, move on. I want to see how they slide. No, no, no. It's just in my head, I, I just think of it like, oh, if somebody walks in and everything's just nice and immaculate and clean, it's a representation on myself. Pull the shade, Mike. Mike, pull the shade and let it go. Just pull it all the way down. Yes. Yes. Just be careful. I don't have company a lot. The time I might, I want it to look at its best. Don't fucking go up now. And I never know when I'm going to have company. You now, don't. It's, now it's fuck loose, see? I'm Chris. They pulled it too much, it's fuck. I want to be able to look at some books with that nice bookcase. You know, I want to get some food in my fridge. Uh, that might be a problem. Do it. I mean, I love milk. Um, you know, peanut butter and fluff, oatmeal, yogurt, um, water, juices. Um, ham and cheese, cold cuts, fruits, vegetables, um, cereal, granola bars, bananas. I mean, I, I love that stuff. I got my own little idiosyncrasies that other people just don't comprehend. Whereas the outside looking in, it looks like I'm completely depriving myself and not enjoying myself. But that's far from the truth. I mean, I like the way I live. I mean, I do it on purpose. I mean, it doesn't bother me to have the place a little cooler and throw on a sweatshirt and hang out on my couch in a blanket. It doesn't bother me to not have any food. I'm single. I'm going to go out to the restaurant. You know what I mean? So all these things to me aren't a big deal, whereas somebody else might look, looking in might be like, well, geez, loosen up, live a little, you know?
really more because I didn't buy 